let's get started we will talk about ddm what is ddm apple's ddm versus mdm what is declarative device management and and what is mobile device management is there any difference between both is there anything which we can learn and is there anything exciting coming into in tune perspective as well so these are the key points we are going to cover declarative passcode settings available for apple devices and uh, what does the criteria for that ios or ipad os the version 17 and later and for mac os it is 14 and later those are the prerequisites for declarative passcode settings and declarative software updates settings for apple devices i would say this is the ddm thing which i talked about so basically if you look at software update policy C enhancements using Apple's DDM. What does DDM? DDM is a declarative device management allows you to install specific updates by an enforced deadline. So over here you would be able to see a DDM stack over here. So declarations and status these are the main components of that. In that you would be able to see different components underneath the declaration and status so we will see more details and diagrams during the demo session if you look at the settings catalog software updates policy for mac you would be able to see more options more granular options for example you can target based on build version and you can provide the detailed url to give more details to end users and then you can provide a target local date and time and then target os version also so this is more granular at this point of time if you use settings catalog option for targeting software updates okay so that is giving more control for the admin and even for the end users for end users they are giving more notification options or more user friendly notifications i would say with ddm enhancement what are the catches of ddm which i can get from some of the slides from apple so it can coexist with mdm software updates you can deploy mdm software updates the normal software update policies for mac devices or apple devices and you can deploy ddm software update policies but the point is ddm takes precedence over mdm so if you have both the policies in place this particular policy will take the precedence these points are coming from apple so i have not tested this in intune so probably you might need to test this in intune first with intune first and then deploy it to production or something so this is available for mac os ios and ipad os even if you are getting confused with the target version target build version of apple devices this is some example for that so if you are wondering what to be filled over here this is the example for that so target version is 14.0 over here and the build version is 20 23 a 500 this is the target local date and time these are the information you need to fill in this particular policy in intune and if you look at this one this is the status this is the declaration part and so status part is this actually if you check the status part over here you can see this is a declaration policy is coming via declaration and then you would be able to see pending version build version and installation status it says it is downloading and failure reason if there is any failure reason it will provide the error reason etc probably that is going to give you some details of the ddm components what apple is kind of trying to implement along with mdm their mdm protocol so they are not changing the mdm protocol they are adding ddm to mdm protocol so this is one software updates and the other one is passcode using apple's ddm so there's a declarative device management ddm allows you to install specific Oh, I have not updated the slide but this is basically for password policies. So if you want to implement the latest granular options for password policies for Apple devices, you need to use the settings within the settings catalog for Mac OS or iOS devices, iPad OS devices as well. Over here you would be able to see different options like required passcode on device, require complex password options, passcode reuse limit, all these options are available with settings catalog and you would be able to see the details over here and we will see more details in the demo as well and i will provide some links into the chat 
to read more about DDM if you are interested. What they are enhancing, how they are enhancing, etc. We will go back to Mac OS and let's go to Mac OS device policies and configuration profile, create one profile, settings catalog, create one for DDM, Mac OS. This is Mac OS. And if I go over here, you would be able to see DDM preview option is available here. So declarative device management options from Apple. If I open this up, you would be able to see more details about this. What are the policies available? What is this Apple's declarative device management, etc, etc. And you would be able to expand this if you want. And then you would be able to see two policies at the moment. Apple is working on different other policies as well not only passcode and software updates but in Intune portal you can configure these two as part of 2310 updates passcode is one type of policy you can configure and you can see different options over here seven settings are here for passcode policies as part of DDM and then if I select software updates you can see four settings available details URL target build version target local date and then target OS version as well. If I select target build version, others will get automatically selected and then I will close this and over here you would be able to put the target details as I have shown in the configuration file in the slide 14.0. If you look at this information, you would be able to see more details. This is very useful, but I would suggest to have some information over here. Also, this information is very, very useful. I would so that is DDM for Mac OS. And if I go back over here and then if I select iOS devices, this is a similar thing. You can see settings catalog for iOS DDM. You can see the same policies over there also. So I'm not going to go into the details of it, but you can see the passcode policies, seven passcode policies, and then four settings for software update policies as well over here for iOS and iPad OS devices. Now let's get into more details about DDM. If I can explain that a bit more, this is one of the interesting useful blog post and you can see the differences from an Apple perspective, MDM and what are the additional things which DDM is going to get when it is implemented for Apple device management solution. So this is the normal enrollment process for devices, Apple devices. So the flow is like this. Okay, as you can see flow is like this. The device needs to communicate with MDM server for the enrollment and then enrollment profile will get delivered. This is part of MDM. DDM is not coming into picture at this point of time and then enrollment will happen and notifying the devices how the notification works. The MDM uses the push notification and MDM server pushes the notification to the device and then device will act upon that and contacting server. It's always MDM server initiate and then uh, the device replays back to MDM server with the status delivering content. It is also similar way and here comes the declarative device management DDM in the declarations. You can provide the configuration assets activation management details using this different declaration stack as I mentioned in the diagram in the slide. So this is the method of configuration over there and you can see over here more details about what is declarative device management and what is the updates over there and it is an asynchronous method. So it is going to reduce the load of the MDM servers. It is going to improve the performance of the MDM servers because the client is not going to contact MDM server for each and everything that is going to reduce the load of the MDM server and the status channel is also important. The flow of status item is like this. So if there is any status, the device will automatically send the status to the MDM server. That is more useful kind of a method. Apple says it is an asynchronous way of managing the devices, more effective way of managing the devices. At least that is what I understand after reading some of of the articles that was all about a DDM versus MDM. You would be able to get all these details in the description of the video. Apple explains how to manage software updates on Apple devices. So enforce software updates, etc, etc. And benefits of declarative 
software updates that is also explained by Apple as you can see in the slide. Updates available notification there are some changes in that for different types of Apple devices. This is for iPad and iOS devices. Hope this was helpful. Thank you all for watching. See you around. Bye-bye.